What's going on guys? My name's Simon. Welcome back to another episode of Will It Rally. What you see in front of you is a Toyota Celica. I forget the name of the rest, but it's something like 1358972 or something like that. Anyway, uh, this car is a rally car. Would you believe it? You couldn't tell by the roll cage and the tyres and the livery and everything like that. But this is a rally car. Where are we going to put it? Hopefully above the Audi Quattro Rally Sport thingamajig from uh, episode something or other, I forget. I haven't recorded Will It Rally in a long time. Let's get straight into it. Is everything working? My gears are working. Uh, my lights, let's put those on because they're important to go faster. And let's get started straight away, let's. Oh, I, I was looking at my keyboard there and I didn't quite realize that I had just gone off the circuit. Right, um, I think the best thing to do would be to restart this because it's gonna be a bugger to reposition. Right, let's go again, try again. Oh, and I've turned the wheel the wrong way, there we go. Uh, right, so, pulling up to the start line, it has been an absolute age since I've recorded Will It Rally. So let's see how this goes in the Toyota uh, Celica rally car thingy. Let's get going, three, two, one, and a go. And my speakers are very loud because I always forget to turn them down. That is something I am going to need to add to my list of things to do before each recording. I now cannot hear anything at all, and that's not ideal. And we've gone off the track about six times already, and we haven't even made it to turn three, up into fourth. Two hands off the wheel there momentarily. Oh dear, and we've lost the back end, and that is not ideal at all. Straight into an invisible wall, but uh, well, that'll right us at least. Oh dear, I'm losing my voice, and we haven't even made it past the first... Oh, I'll we'll put it into third, past the first inflatable. We now have, we're up the uh, up the verge there, smash into both the uh, the tyre, not the tyre thing, the log, um, the log, uh, uh, what not, the log pile, and the uh, the dry stone wall, and uh, well, we've come off worse for wear. I cannot keep this thing in a straight line for the life of me. Don't ask me how or why, because I really don't know. If I did, I wouldn't be squirrelling all, all the way about like a... Well, like a squirrel, I suppose. And I've hit that in with invisible wall. I can't speak because I haven't recorded a video in about a month and a half. Now, oh, that's a huge exaggeration, but we'll roll with it anyway. All the tyres are up to temperature, uh, which is miraculous for my videos. Because if you look at any of them, we're going around with tyres, the temperature of ice cubes for about 90% of the stage. Break about now. Down to fifth, down to fourth, down to third. We're going to hit this head on. Bang, there we go. Should really try and use that to maybe get me going in the right direction. But, uh, well, I don't possess that IQ. So we're just going to carry on on our merry way. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. Now over a jumpy jump road of many jumps. We are completely losing the back end. Short shift to fourth, because why not? Make me look cool. Uh, there we go, like I'm paying attention to anything that's going on. I've lost the back end massively. We're going to go around that. Did you see the skill there in avoiding that? That Red Bull inflatable and all the non-go-throughable signage that goes along with it down to third we're gonna take this corner successfully um, and that's only about the second time I've done it in this whole series up into fourth now approaching the corner that is a lot tighter than one might imagine I've locked up gone wide there and now over the little crest where it tightens up about 90 million degrees somehow I'm overheating the tires it's the first time I've done this in a year and a half and I've gone straight into that tree but it's go throughable so that's fine and I'm completely losing all of the bearings coming up to whatever corner this is I can't remember if I gave it a name or not but we're just gonna call it the corner uh, I remember I put a picture of James May in one of the videos don't go down to second not up to fourth time so we're gonna call that the James May bend for this video even though we've gone past it and it shall not be mentioned for the rest of the video down to third we're gonna completely cut across this Avoid that signage like um, uh, someone who avoids signage on a daily basis. There we go. A signage-free diet. Like a, a vegan but for signs. I've lost the back end yet again. Gone straight into that and now I'm facing backwards. God only knows how. Because, well, God only knows why I'm doing this challenge. No one else can fathom the reasoning behind it. Not even me. So... Well, hopefully God knows, because if not, then humanity is completely doomed. We have taken this corner way too fast, gone straight into that. This time is going to be absolutely dreadful. Get it going in a straight line. Build the revs. The revs? No, the revs. 
clutch kick the hell out of it. Uh, up to third there. That was a masterful gear change from myself there. I'm really proud of that. But I've crashed, so it's going to be completely null and void unless I can spin this thing around. Uh, I don't know why it won't spin because I haven't got traction control, as you'd expect from a Celica from about 1812. I'm losing my voice and I haven't even made it halfway through the stage. But that's to be expected. Oh, I'm going to hit the thing. 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 I haven't hit the invisible wall that kills you every single time you touch it. And that's, well, that's a blessing because otherwise this last five minutes, well, this last, well, yeah, about five minutes of recording would have been wasted. And my voice would have suffered for absolutely no reason. But here we go up into second gear along the fan fiction straight. I do remember that name because, well, my sister was amazed that I would name something the fan fiction straight I've hit that verge and I'm doing two wheels all along the straight I've murdered about six people there it's a terrible day for those six people but then again they have just been killed by Simon SNB the rally master the fence master 2k18 and the left hander master 2k19 significantly less achievements this year than uh, the last but I can only really blame myself for that I've hit the wall there I'm having to go one-handed through that corner because I'm having to scratch my face. Um, down into third for this complex that is the Monaco of rallying. Um, reverse it out of that because, well, there's no point in trying to go forward. Um, now as we flick it round here, oh, that was a lovely little drift there. And we're just going to manoeuvre it round here like it's a Tesco's car park. Um, it's really not because it's somewhere in Central Europe. Um, do they have central? They do they have central Europe in Tesco's? Gee whiz, Simon! There's a there's a quote for you. Put that on a T-shirt, why don't you? Do they have central Europe in Tesco's? Do they have Tesco's in central Europe? I don't know. Um, I think they have it in Poland, um, but they have most things in Poland. Um, even though most of the people have left there and come over here looking for jobs. I'm talking about geopolitical things and it's really not helping my stage time. I've lost the back end about 12 times in the last two seconds. Up into first, well down into first, because you can't really go up into first unless you're in neutral, Simon. Down this hill here, uh, just keep it in third, because why not? Wall ride the hell out of that corner, catch the slide, and then go up on that uh, on that ledge there. Nearly hit the pole, now approaching the catastrophic Cobra Collision corner. Let's hope it's not a catastrophic uh, co Celica Collision corner. Also, let's break about now, because this thing has cheesecake for breaks. Fourth third and well we're going through this like a toll booth incredibly tentatively and hoping to not get into any trouble and we haven't and that is absolutely masterful down into second to actually get some torque into the thing up into third fourth now coming over the crest and under the red bull inflatable and well that was i thought there was going to be a bit more action there but there obviously wasn't down into third second now we have to try not to hit that fence and we haven't done we have hit a baby tree though and that's not ideal but I don't know who planted a tree on the apex of a rally stage corner um, that's Chris Packham for you does he do trees I don't think he does anyways more geopolitical nonsense there we go fifth gear here and I've completely lost the back end I'm nearly rolling it I've spun out and I've probably died in that collision that was well I mean there's certainly going to be multiple injuries in that maybe a broken broken face or something like that but uh, nothing nothing that renders the car useless obviously this driver is invincible as we come across the line now to finish the stage it's a 7 minute 36.670 I am not sure where that puts us because I haven't looked at the times but uh, it puts us wherever it puts us and well we'll just roll with it hopefully hopefully it um it beat the, what was it, Aldi, Al, Aldi, there we go, hopefully it beat the Aldi Sport Quattro, hopefully the Tesco's Mobile beat the Aldi Mobile, no, hopefully it beat the Aldi Sport Quattro Rally Edition uh, from a few episodes back, but if it didn't, whatever, it was good fun, I've completely lost my voice, so I am going to end this video here, if you did enjoy, then please do leave a like and feel free to subscribe, I apologise for my absence, hopefully more videos more regularly in the future, but I won't make any promises. But apart from that, my name's been Simon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.